Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'll be reviewing the Takara Tommy Play Real EVA 02 Shinkarion Z Shinkarion 500 Type EVA 2 Train Toy Action Figure. So without further ado, let's get started. It's such a long name, but long story short or long name short, this 500 Type EVA 02 model. Um, so yeah, it's basically the Japanese Transformers based on the Shinkansen train. Uh, let's take a look at the packaging first. Um, I got this for around 30 bucks. It's really good priced. I know um, if you wait a little bit, these figures will end up becoming very expensive, especially this is a crossover uh, between, you know, Shinkansen and Evangelion. Um, so, you know, uh, it's going to be very popular. Um, I've seen, you know, some of the older models right now in the secondhand market. They're almost double, sometimes even triple the price. So, yeah, if you got your hands on these retail priced um, Shin Shinkarion Z figures or Transformer figures, make sure you grab them if you are into these Shinkansen slash Transformer um figures yep here's the packaging it's a huge box um here's the side here is the back um there is also eva 01 as well uh, of course i missed this one um maybe one of these i will get this if i can find it at a reasonable price all right move the packaging to the side now let's focus on the figure itself and here we go this is eva 02 as cause um evangelion um figure or um how do you call it uh fighter jet anyways there's a lot of accessories um this is the uh i guess the figure model the you know um and then you can transform this whole thing into train train uh <laughs> train uh, yep, yeah, and in terms of accessories, these are the remaining accessories. Some of the reels you can use it for transform it back into uh, Shinkansen. Um, and here is one of the weapons. I already have it here. And here's one of the train cars. There will be three train cars in total. And uh, yep, yeah, this train car you can take it out. And then there is one of the weaponry. And here is an an alternative head. I can show you guys how this head looks. Yep, but uh, this train car, basically, you cannot use it for the transformation purposes, but um, yeah, let me see if I can put it back into this thing. Yep, here's the look of it. It's really nice made, and it's really detailed. The paint app is great. It does involve a little bit of stickering, um, which I hate it, but luckily it wasn't hard. This is made out of sticker, sticker. Uh, sticker here, sticker here. Um, I think that's about it. There is some very minor, yeah, stickering here, stickering here. Um, there's some stickering going on, but very minor. Yeah, first of all, here let's focus on the figure, the Eva figure. Like I mentioned, the helmet, you can remove it and you can replace it with the other helmet. I think it has to do with um, if it's level up or all that. This is also part of anime, I think. I have never seen it. But um, I just find these to be amazing. I love Shinkansen model kits. So Shinkansen plus Eva Gideon. Um, I think this is a must have for me at least. Plus it's Transformer, similar to Transformer, the Japanese Transformer. I just find it very interesting. Yeah, let's th first do a 360. Um, I think, um, yeah, it's just really detailed. I think it's, um, it's, it's much better than uh, Hasbro's Transformers. I have to be very honest with you. I think the price point, um, around 30 bucks, they're not that much difference in terms of pricing. However, you know, this is definitely a lot more detailed. Um, it just feels a lot better in real reality. You know, all the pain apps and everything. Articulations, um, yeah, here we go, articulations. I'll just show you. Um, all of them are really good. Vibe here, there is all these. Um, yeah, and then you can rotate. And then the arms you can go down, go up, 360. Um, and then the head, you can move. Oops, yeah. 
By the way, it also comes with instructions on how to transform your figures from the train form to the uh, battle form versus, you know, from these giant robots back to the train form. Anyways, and it also has no problem standing, as you can see. So yeah, uh, long story short, let's try to bring it back to the train form. Um, um, here's the weapon out, uh, and this is also one of the weapons. Um, I don't remember how I put it on, but uh, yeah, I remember now. It's from the back, lower back. All right, remove this. So these are all of the accessories. Um, all right, and here we have, oh yeah, here's a little stickering here and here as well. But yeah, all right, um, I'm not gonna try to look at the chi sheet or anything like that. I'm just gonna use my memory <laughs> trying to see how this works. Let's remove the helmet as well. Okay, I think I remove everything that's worth removing. First, um, let's take this out, separate this into half. Um, the top is a lot easier, so I'm gonna remove the arms. Okay, so here is the top. This is the easiest one. All you gotta do, flip this thing on, flip this down, close the cap, and then raise this down. So here we go. Um, part of the Shinkansen, the front, is here. All right, that's easy. And now here we go, the arms. Um, ooh, let me try to remember this, how to do this. Uh, maybe I'm going to need, um, yep, here we go. Same thing here, put it down first. Um, let me see, all right, and then two sides. I mean, you don't have to do that now, but right here. And I think here's the bottom. You can attach one of these wheels. I remember as far as I remember. Yep. Maybe it's too soon to attach them, but yeah, we'll do that later. So yep, that is that. Let me think about it. Okay, now we have this lower portion. Mm, let me think, let me think. Um, okay, first this thing is removable. Let's remove these two parts. All right. Um, I think we flip this. Uh, let's see how to make it work. All right. Um, And this one also flips back. Oops. Hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Yep, okay. And then this goes this way. So we made it into this shape. And then this feet does ban, I believe. But give me a second. Let me see how this thing work. Uh, anyways, let's let's just do what I know first. Okay, flipping this back on. So we do see the little shape here, right? All right. Huh. I think. I'm supposed to remove this. There we go. I was like, something something isn't correct. Okay, here we go. And then this thing flips back inward, I think. Uh, I probably need a, what is it called? Here we go. All right, one side done. Same thing here, flip this in there. Uh, no, hold on. Flip this in, flip this inward here. And then, all right, we have this one done and this one done. We, all right, and then this is the part that we just made. 
Ooh, I probably need some further detailed instructions here. I'm not going to lie, but um, we'll see. As far as I remember, I think something like this. No, I don't think so, but let's see. I remember something. Okay, ready? All right, the train is done. Here is the front of the train. And then to connect this part, now I gotta think which one is the front that I need to use to connect. All right, I think it's this one. So attach this one to the bottom. All right, so the front of the train is done. Wow, I thought, you know, I thought I need the cheese sheet to help, but um, luckily I made it. So here's the front of Shinkansen, and then here's the middle. No, still, still wrong. This is not the one. <laughs> um, I need the other one. I need this one. So I need this one. Okay, so this and this, they can hook together, become a train. I will do that later. So this is step one. Step two, like I said, it's already there. Now let's make step three, the third part of the body happen. And then I know you need to flip this. Um, okay. Now I think it's somewhat of a common sense. I can't say common sense, common sense, but somewhat of a common sense. Okay. Let's, once again, I'm not trying to use cheese sheets or anything like that. So here, at least it looks like a train, right? And then we have the front here. Um, this is the empty shell. Yep, this is the shape we want to make it. <laughs> and then here is the middle section. How I'm going to put that in there. I assuming I'm going to slide this. I assume I need to slide this inward something. Uh, okay. Let's see. Here is the front. Okay, this is good. We made this front. Yeah, because this is what I remember. And this might need to... I might need to split this first. Oh, yeah. Now I get it. You got to attach to this side here. All right, made it, made it, made it. Wow, without instruction. I'm not going to lie. This is my first time putting it back into the train form. Um, I had it in the robot form ever since I got it. I displayed this uh, for a couple weeks. or I mean, not a couple weeks, but for a while already. But um, it's my first time making it, transforming it back to... Why doesn't it fit? Okay. Um, maybe something I need to do something about this. Yeah, it's my first time trying to uh, make it back into maybe uh, the train form. So okay, I think so far these are all right. Let me figure out way how this how this thing work. Okay, this is for sure. Okay, this is for sure. This is for sure. All right, everything's good. Okay, here is the last bit of this train, and then let's attach the wheels. Oh my goodness. All right, and all these, so we got all three parts. And here are the accessories. Um, this thingy, there's nothing you can attach to it. I normally just put the helmet inside the middle of this train, just so I don't lose it. All I do just, you know, freely let it sit uh, in here, like so, and then I just cover it so I don't lose it. And this, based on instructions, you're supposed to attach it to both ends like this. 
to store it right there like so but um i usually i wouldn't display my train if i want to display uh, the figure in the train form i wouldn't do that and then now just you know pluck these things in all right see we got the little train going on and i think you can also buy this whole set of the miniature rail like there's rail station rail stop um the rails itself um and then you can just play with it you know these are the non-mechanic but transformable version they also have the mechanic version which you press a control button it just runs automatically um so yeah this is how it is from that little giant <laughs> transformers now becoming this once again here is takara tommy shinkarion z eva 2 or the 500 type eva 02 as cause evangelion um crossover with shinkansen i don't know shinkalian z figures um yeah i'm having a lot of fun although i went through a little trouble um put them together but it was my first time and without any instruction and all that i feel like i did it amazing job so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i do actually very recommend this if you can find it go buy it um you will not regret it it's a great collection to your collection so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye bye